All right, welcome back, guys, to this video in which I'm going to show you how you can build your own Ethereum Blockchain Explorer in a very few steps. So this is going to be like a mini Etherscan clone because we're not going to clone this whole website. But if you want us to do that, make sure you post that in the comment section below so we know that you want to see that video. Now, in this video, we're just going to cover a few parts and make it look like it does in Etherscan. So we're going to make this header look the same. We're going to have this search section right here. Uh, and then when you paste the wallet address in there, what else we're going to clone is this transaction table right here. And it's going to look pretty, pretty similar to this. Now, if we're going to create a full Etherscan clone, we're going to have these boxes right here and make it have the same data because we can do that. With Morales, we can get the live uh, blockchain events, the live data uh, and display that. We can get the transactions, we can get the uh, balances and everything else that's needed to display this. But now let me actually show you the final product we built for this search function. So you can see it looks very similar to uh, Etherscan. We have the same background right here. We have the same search uh, input field and the search section in general. So let's put the same wallet address in there. And there we have this transactions table. And look how clean this looks, guys. We have the transaction hash. We have the method, the block number. Uh, when this transaction happened, the from and the to address. This is pretty cool, in my opinion. We have the, uh, if it's an outgoing transaction or an ingoing transaction, and then the value and the transaction fee. Now, some things that are different, we're formatting it a little bit different. So, for example, we can see one month ago, three months ago. And on Etherscan, we can see... Uh, the days and the hours basically but that's totally up to you if you want to format it like this you can easily do that but now let me show you how you can build this i hope uh, this is interesting to you so stay tuned and let's get started Hey, I'm Joseph, your Web3 instructor from Sweden. I've been into crypto since 2017 and have been building in the space since 2021. In my free time, I enjoy playing paddle, going to the gym or hanging out with my dog. I always try to enjoy some good pancakes, but that's for another time. Now let's get back to the video. All right, guys, welcome back and let's just get started. I have created a root folder called etherscan-search-clone and within that one, I have a backend and a frontend folder. Now, before we get into the code, I just want to let you know that I have pasted a link to this GitHub repo in the description below, because in this video, I'm not going to go through the styling, the CSS and all those kind of things. But if you want to see how I have done it, understand more my styling and take some inspiration, make sure you clone this repo and take it from there. Otherwise, just tag along and we will make it happen. So let's start with the backend folder. I have installed four dependencies, Morales, Express.env and Course. And then I have created a .env file right here to paste in our Morales API key. Now you need to have an account for this. So if you don't have one, make sure you go to morales.io and sign up. We have a few different plans. For example, we have the starter plan, which is for free and it's very, very generous. But if you want to take your dabs to the next level, if you're really, really serious about building within the Web3 space, I hugely recommend you to go with the pro account because that means you can listen to streams, to different blockchain events. You have more computational power. You have more uh, daily requests, monthly requests. It's a big, big difference when building your next mega, mega dApp. And then we also have the business and the enterprise plan that fits for these kind of businesses. So once you've done that, make sure you go to your admin dashboard right here and go to Web3 APIs to get your API key. Copy that and paste that in. Let's close this one down. And then inside index.js, make sure you require express because our server is gonna be an express server on port 5001. And then also import Morales course and dot env like so. That means we can import our API key like this. And then we're gonna use that at the bottom when we use the start function provided by Morales, passing along our API key, but also start listening to our server. Now this server has two endpoints right here. One is the get ETH price and the second one is the address. Now the get ETH price, it's basically giving us the ETH, the current Ether price. That's it. Because we want to display it. Oops. We want to display it right here, as you can see, like so. So we need this endpoint. And once we hit this endpoint with our front-end client, we're gonna call the EVM dot EVM API dot token dot get token price endpoint, passing along an address and the chain ID, which is the Ethereum address and the Ethereum chain ID. The response, we're just sending it back to the front-end client. And then we have the second endpoint, which is the slash address. 
uh, and this is the one that gives us all the transactions about the specific wallet address. So once you put a, a wallet address inside the input field and hit the button, we're taking that and we're sending it to our backend and we, and we can take this parameter like so. So we can add it here as another parameter when we call the transaction dot get wallet transactions endpoint and passing along that specific wallet address along with this chain ID, which is for Ethereum. And once we get the response back, let's do the same thing and just forward it to our front-end client. Talking about the front-end client, let's go into the front-end folder. This is a Next.js application, so make sure you set that up. And I have also installed these two dependencies, Access and Moment. I'm gonna show you how we will use these dependencies in a few seconds. But first, let's start with the index.js file, which basically covers um, our application. But what that means is it's rendering two components, the header and the search component. So let's jump into the header component first. And we can see that this is uh, the first thing we do in here is we have a use effect function and we're getting the ETH price. We're doing that by doing an access request to our backend server on port 5001 and slash get ETH price. Once we get the response back, we're setting this state variable with this USD price value. And then we're going to use this state variable down here to display the current ETH price. And boom, with just a few lines of code, guys, we created a front-end client that's doing a request to our backend server, that's doing a request to the Morales API for getting the current Ether price and sending that back to the front-end client. And then we're displaying that very easy and very beautiful. What else are we doing in here? So we have this, uh, this menu that you can see right here, the home blockchain token, NFTs, resources, uh, developers, more, and then sign in. They don't have any functionality yet. So I'm just displaying them beautifully with this a nice arrow right here and that's what we're doing right right here so for each and every menu item that's about it let's go into the search uh component and we can actually start down here where we are rendering everything so the first thing we have is this header right here the ethereum blockchain explorer and it's this one that you can see right here and then we have the search section so we have the input field which has a change handler on it and then we have the button that has an on click function so let's start with this change handler. It's a function we have created to extract the value from the input field and store it in this state variable because we're gonna later on use this search input. I'm gonna show you how. So let's take a look at this onclick handler. Uh, we have the handle search function that gets called once you hit the button. And we are doing another access request to the backend server, but this time to slash address. And then we're taking this specific search input the state variable you remember that we added the value to right here that's what we're taking and we're passing along it as a parameter to the backend server which then can take it and pass it along as a parameter once again to the morales api we get the response back from the backend server and we're storing that in a second state variable which is an array and then we have the third and final state variable which is a, a boolean initially it's set to false but right here we're setting it to true because as it's named show results we don't want to show any results or any components when this is false because that means we don't have any value to display but once this is true we are rendering this component right here so we check is show results true perfect then we render this component we're passing along these two values as props and inside search results component we take this prop and we can use it however we want now, in our scenario, we want to build this transaction table as Etherscan has. So that's what we're gonna do. And right here, we're basically displaying that we are showing the latest 25 out of these amount of uh, transactions. So basically we're checking the length of the props. Then we have a table header, which has one table row with different TH elements. So you can see them right here. We have the transaction hash, we have the method, the block, the age, from, and to value and transaction fee which is everything you can see right here then we are mapping through these props as you remember this prop it was an array so for each and every index within this array we are rendering this table row like right here and for each and every row we display the transaction hash for example uh the transfer talking about transfer we can see that we have this hard-coded right here as transfer but if we go to etherscan you can see the method it's transfer sometimes it's multi-call it's atomic match it's private mint and so on and so on so what's actually very very cool is that we at morales we're working on uh, adding this to some of our endpoints 
and we're gonna have that ready very very soon which is so awesome to have now back to the code uh, what else are we rendering and displaying we have the timestamp but just formatting using moment which we installed earlier we have the from address just formatting a little bit differently so we don't have to display all those characters we have this beautiful tag which displays if it's an ingoing or outgoing transaction uh, we have the to address and we are formatting it the same way we did with from address we have the value right here and also the gas price and that's what makes this transaction table look as beautiful as clean and as similar to ether scans as it does now you don't need more code than this guys and to demonstrate it once again let's paste vitalik's wallet address in here and we can see that we are getting his transactions so the transaction hashes the, the block numbers the age so when did this happened so we can see that this is an outgoing transaction from this wallet to this wallet and the value is 210 ethers i mean guys this is pretty cool with just a few lines of code we can use morales and take advantage of what morales api is giving us guys because with just a few lines of code look at all the data we can get and we can display it so beautiful guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did do me a favor and smash the like button so i know you appreciated this as much as i did otherwise i hope i will see you in the next video